class, next we are going to look into properties of in equality, whereby quantities of is, um, there are only properties of inequality. So let's do some mind map of it. Okay, so um, for the properties of inequality, so the first property is addition, addition property of inequality, subtraction property of inequality, multiplication property of inequality, as well as division property of inequality. So, um, so you have to remember that in mathematics, there are four operations that are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So these are the same as uh, properties of inequality, whereby all the operations become the properties of inequality. Okay, there are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division properties of inequality. So since we are talking about inequality, so therefore the signage or the symbol for the inequality are greater than, less than, greater than, equal, or less than or equal. Okay. So now let's um, have um, A, B, and C are element of real number, whereby A, B, and C, which means um, A, B, and C are real numbers. So for the addition property of inequality, if A is greater than B, then A plus C is greater than B plus C. So we have plus C on the left-hand side and plus C on the right-hand side as well. For the subtraction, if A is greater than B, then we can have A minus C greater than B minus C and minus C on the left-hand side and left-hand side uh, and right-hand side as well. For the multiplication, um, for the multiplication, if you multiply by C, whereby C is a positive number, so A is greater than B, then we can have a times C is greater than B times C. So times C on the left hand side and times C on the left hand side, on the right hand side. But it's be different for um, C is a negative number. If A is greater than B, then A times C is less than A times C. So we have times C, times C on the left hand side and the right hand side. Uh, but the signage here has changed from greater than to less than. Okay. And for the division property of inequality, uh, we have the same as multiplication for the case that uh, C is a positive number. So please uh, be aware that we have a division of C on the left-hand side and division of C on the right-hand side, but a bit different for the negative number, whereby C is a negative number. If A is greater than B, then A divided by C is less than uh, B divided by C. Uh, whereby the signage has changed from greater than to less than. So now we are going to look into the example of um, proving by using properties of inequalities. So now for our question number two. So given that 2k minus 1 over 3 less than 2 over 3, we have to prove that k is less than 1 over 2. Okay, so first thing first, we have to distinguish um, the hypothesis and conclusion, which is um, the given and proof. So we have to distinguish what is the given um, information and what is the things that we have to prove, okay, according to this question. So given, we have one information on the given that is 2k minus 1 over 3 is less than 2 over 3. Okay, this is the given information, and that uh, that is uh, the hypothesis, the hypothesis of the statement. Okay, and then what we have to what we have to prove is we have to prove that k is less than one over two. Okay, k is less than one over two. So since the question asks us to prove, so we have to bear in mind our proving must be in a table form with two columns. Um, the left-hand column is the statement, right column is on the reason, start with given and end with proof, okay? So what we have um, to do next is we have to construct our table. So let's construct the table. We have two columns. So now the left-hand column is on the statement, right-hand column is the reason, okay? For number one, what we have to put in number one is um, the given information. That is 2K again. 2K minus 1 over 3 less than 2 over 3. 
So the reason we have to put given because this information given by the question. Okay. So next, what we have to to do is um. So for me, I want to. For me, I want to do um. I want to eliminate a uh, negative one over three on the left hand side. That means I have to add one over three. Okay. So now we have um. 2k minus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 less than over 3 plus 1 over 3. So now we have we have 1 over 3 on the left hand side and 1 over 3 on the right hand side. Okay, so that means we are having addition property of inequality why are we having inequality because we are talking about the unequal sign that is less than so that is why we have to use property of inequality okay and then for um, this one as we solve step number two then we have two k Less than one. Okay, two k less than one. So next, <clears throat> for step number three, I want to make um k single. That means we have to divide two k by two. That means we have to divide one by two as well. So we have 2k divided by 2 less than 1 over 2. Okay, so we can see here we are having division of 2 on the left hand side and division of 2 on the right hand side. So the reason is division property of inequality. Okay, so that's step number four. We get what uh what the things that we need to prove is k less than one over two. So proven. Okay, so now class, let's have um let's do some exercise. So um for exercise one point five number four, <laughs> we are doing exercise one point five number four. So let's take together this question slowly. So the question um stated that given Three over two greater than one over four minus x. Prove that x less than five over two. <coughs> so now we're going to do this question together. <coughs> so we have first thing first. We have to distinguish what is the given information and what is the things that we have to. Okay, <laughs> so basically you have to really understand, you have to really skillful in order to um, took out, uh, take out uh, um, the given information because those things are important in order to set our hypothesis in our proving. Okay, so now we have only one information on the given part that is 3 over 2 times 1 minus x greater than 1 over 4 minus x. So what we have to do is, uh, what we have to do is we have to prove that x less than 5 over 2. Okay? So now, now the question asks us to prove. Asks us to prove. Okay? So that means our proving in the form of a table with two columns, left hand column is statement, right hand column is reason, start with given and end with proven. Okay? So now let's construct our table. Okay, this is our table. And the left hand column is statement. Right hand column is reason. So for number one, what we have to put in number one is the given information. That is 3 over 2 times 1 minus x greater than 1 over 4 minus x. So reason is given. Okay, so now... What I want to do first is, 
okay i want to um, expand this uh, bracket okay i want to expand this bracket so that means the step would be as we have as we have 3 over 2 times 1 minus x this is equal to 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 times x okay so now as we look into um, this equation we are having equal sign okay equal signs so we have to use the property of equality so by using property of equality we can see that this process adapt are uh, the property of distributive property of equality okay so now let's have this step in our step number two so we wrote it at uh, we wrote it as um 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2x greater than 1 over 4 minus x. So the reason is distributive property of equality. Okay. And then for step number 3, for step number 3, I want to eliminate. I want to eliminate 3 over 2 here. Okay. 3 over 2 on the left hand side. So I want to eliminate 3 over 2. That means I have to subtract 3 over 2. So um, we wrote it again 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2x. So as we want to eliminate 3 over 2, that means we have to minus 3 over 2 on the left hand side. So on the right hand side, this is greater than 1 over 4 minus x minus. 3 over 2. So as we can see here, we have minus 3 over 2 on the left hand side and minus 3 over 2 on the right hand side as well. So, so um, the reason is subtraction property of inequality. Okay. So now let's simplify step number 3. So after um, for step number three, as we simplify step number three, it becomes negative three over two x negative negative five over four minus x. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to eliminate negative x on the right hand side. I want to eliminate negative x on the right hand side. That means I have to add uh, x. Okay. So next, I will step number four is number four negative three over two x. So the original um statement is greater than negative five over four minus x. So as I want to eliminate negative x, so I have to add x here on the right hand side so that means i have to plus x as, as well on the left hand side so now we have we have plus x on the uh, left hand side and plus x on the right hand side so the reason is addition property of inequality okay so now let's simplify step number four so now we have negative one over two x greater than negative five over four okay so now my next move is i want to make x as yeah, um, x to be single okay only one x on the left hand side so that means i have to multiply with negative two so now for step number five step number five i have negative one over two x times negative two and on the right hand side we have negative five over four times negative two as well since we are doing the multiplication of negative number, then the signage will change from greater than to less than. 
Okay, so the signage will change from greater than to less than. So the reason is multiplication property of e inequality. Okay, so next we got our answer that is x less than 5 over 2 then proven.